One man has taken good old American ingenuity, combined it with high technology, and come up with an invention he calls Winnebiko. Just to make sure his state-of-the-art computerized bicycle works, inventor Stephen Roberts is pedaling it all across America. Seen as Jerry Creek has more in the science and technology report. Steve here. It's just another day at the office for Stephen Roberts, but he doesn't go to work. His work goes with him. Roberts' combo home and office is a custom designed and built bicycle. He calls it the Winnebiko. The self proclaimed high tech nomad is pedaling around America with his friend Maggie Victor, writing about it as he goes. The bicycle contains a number of computers which allow me to maintain a business while I travel. Five computers to be exact with 1.7 megabytes of memory and a battery-powered three and one-half inch disk drive. A laptop for use when not moving and a keyboard built into the handlebar so he can write while riding. It's sort of like playing a flute. There are four buttons on each side and I simply type in binary. And if you think about the fact that you're using eight fingers, there are 256 possible combinations. I can do about 30 words a minute when I'm on a roll, so to speak. Roberts is plugged in in other ways. The Winnebiko is a mobile ham radio station. Ham radio also allows Roberts to send and receive electronic data and messages. His latest gadget, a cellular phone. That means he no longer has to borrow a phone to access his laptop and its laptop computer network. Every time I find a phone line and plug in my modem, that's my electronic hometown. Computers, lights, even the cellular phone batteries are recharged by the sun. Up close, the wheels look like a regular bike except this one-of-a-kind model has three derailers and... It's 54 speeds, has disc brakes, weighs 275 pounds, and is about 12 feet long, including the trailer. The bike is so smart, its security system warns intruders off. You are being monitored by the Starship. Do not touch, or you will be vaporized by a laser beam. If anyone does touch the Winnebiko while Roberts is away, a beeper lets him know about it. The run on the highway has carried Robert 16,000 miles so far. Not all of them tranquil. Oh, that was exciting. I know. It's profoundly liberating. There's no way I could possibly maintain a, a, an adventure like this. The only way it's possible is because of the technology that allows me to compute, communicate, run a business. That technology has made it possible for me to have this whole trip. Such is a lifestyle on the cutting edge. Jerry Krieg, CNN, reporting. Science.